So, back in December, I read an arc of Fireworks by Katie Catunio. I hope I said that right. <laughs> and I filmed my review right away because I wanted to have all my thoughts fresh in my mind of the book and be able to talk about everything well in the review, but I was saving it to put it up closer to the release date. And I somehow managed to delete that review twice. And I got some free data recovery software and was able to retrieve many deleted videos on my computer. Except for that review, of course. <laughs> but I did want to review it because I liked it. So even though it is now March, so I read it almost three months ago now, I think I can still do a fairly good review on it. I'm pretty sure I still have most of it in my mind pretty clearly. <laughs> so uh, let's try to do that, shall we? The book is Fireworks and I gave it three and a half stars. So Fireworks is a book that takes place in the 90s, which made me happy when I found that out since I grew up in the 90s, since I was born in the late 80s. Anyway, and it is about a girl named Dana and her friend Olivia. And Olivia has always lived and breathed singing and dancing and performing and she's been to like, you know, singing camp and all that kind of stuff. She has the opportunity to audition for a new girl pop band. So she is all excited, obviously, and goes to audition for it, and Dana goes with her as moral support. She goes with her as a friend. She doesn't go to audition herself, even though Dana sings and dances as well. It's not her passion. She didn't grow up doing it the way Olivia has. But while she's there, the producer guy, the guy who's holding the auditions and is going to be putting the band together and everything, sees Dana, and he sees this quality to her and makes her audition. She's just got like this X factor that some people have. Just that, like, spark on stage and that, you know, that kind of thing. So he makes her audition. She obviously hasn't prepared, so she sings Happy Birthday. And both Olivia and Dana get picked to be two of the girls in the pop band. So the story is about them the summer after they graduated from high school, training for going on tour and recording their album and learning all the dance moves and the songs, obviously, and uh, living in an apartment with the other girls in the band. And there's also the boy band that got put together by the same guy the year before who lives in the same apartment complex who they talk to and maybe start getting crushes on, you know, that kind of thing. And the story is also about the fact that all the other girls in the group resent Dana because all the other girls in the group have worked really, really hard for this. And it's their life dream, their goal, what they've been working towards ever since they were little. And it just kind of fell into Dana's lap. She didn't even ask for it and she got it. And so they're all jealous, even though they have it too. She got it without even trying and she didn't even necessarily want it. And on top of that, because Dana didn't grow up performing at all, she doesn't know how to read music and she doesn't catch on to a lot of things as easily as the other girls do. So it causes a lot of tension between the girls. So I thought that that was really well done and it made the story really interesting and I really liked the group dynamic and the way the characters changed throughout the story and how even Olivia changed her feelings towards Dana even though they've been best friends ever since they were little. You know, it caused tension between their friendship and I thought it was good. I also really really liked the relationship that Dana got um, with a certain guy in the story and I liked the way their relationship grew as well and the interactions that they had. I just thought it was very cute and very fun and it was fun like reading about them doing their like practices and learning about dancing and singing and all that stuff. The only thing that I was really disappointed about I guess was that I was expecting there to be more about like their studio time and stuff like that. Like I thought there would be more in, the, in that area of it since it was about them forming a band, but it wasn't really about them forming the band. It was about all their stuff outside of that and how it affected their friendship and their relationships with other people. So that's fine. I just really did think it would have been a lot more fun if it had more stuff about the actual like behind the scenes of actually, you know, putting the album together and stuff like that. Um, I was also a little disappointed. I, I mean, not super disappointed, but I was really excited about the fact that it took place in the 90s and then there wasn't much 
that really made it noticeable that it took place in the 90s, except for the fact that they didn't have cell phones and the bands that they talked about and the bands that they listened to and stuff like that. But there wasn't really anything else that stood out as it taking place in the 90s. I mean, I guess maybe she would have had to really reach and try to do that, now that I'm thinking about it, I guess. But I just wish there were a few more things that popped up throughout the story that made me go, ah, that! And stuff like that, but it was good. It was still good. I also thought that the ending was really good. It was really... I don't want to give anything away, so I'm not going to say what I liked about it, but I really liked the ending. <laughs> I, yes, I did... That's all I can say without, I don't know, giving anything away whatsoever. I don't want you to start reading the book and then start getting ideas on what's going to happen at the ending because of what I said about how I felt about it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that was all my thoughts. I'm pretty sure those were all the same things I said the first time I filmed it. <laughs> so, I hope it was good. It comes out on April 18th. So if you think this sounds like a good book, then put it on your TBR list and pre-order it or buy it when it comes out or whatever. April 18th. <laughs>